So John Hedges and his group that did this excavation, they did an experiment to see whether it really worked or not. And it took them, they, they built their own trough, and it took them three hours to get the uh, water hot, three hours to three hours to get their fire going, three hours to get their water hot, and another three hours to cook a piece of old goat. The old goat had died at the farm there, so Dad gave them 30 pun of goat meat to see if he could cook that. Okay, uh, what happens when you put hot stones into cold water? They cool down. They cool down, yeah. And when they cool down in a hurry, what happens to them? Explode. They Correct. explode, yeah. So that's what this mound is here. That's on the burnt, that's your burnt mound. It's just the midden, the rubbish heap. Uh, so the, the pot that the students were using was two thirds full of stone. So it takes an awful lot of stone for the cooking time. And this pot here, was there was a lot of burnt stone in it when it was the place was excavated. So it's hot stones into cold water and they break, but hot stones into hot water will be, they, they'll survive. So you'll be able to reuse, reuse them. So there's reusing and recycling, it's not new. They're at it here two and a half thousand years ago. So this mound here, eh, that's all that's left now. Eh, but originally they think it would have gone three quarters of the way around here, down to put the fence there and down to the same distance down there. Three quarters of the way around. And the reason there's less of it here is that dad was using it. When he found this place, he had the tractor and trailer over there and he was loading up the burnt stone to fill the holes in the road. He was building a road right around the farm and he was using that, that burnt stone as the surface dresser uh -huh. because it's all it breaks up nice and easily because it's been uh, burnt. And he came across these walls there. I remember being with him there and they, that's what started it all off. How old were you there? Ah, uh, now he's asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, must have been about five. Uh -huh. <laughs> born in 57 and I was born in 52. So. Uh, okay, so uh, where are we? a pot that size of water is going to need a huge water supply, isn't it? So to get over that problem, you always find these buildings in the valleys where the water runs naturally. And uh, there's that much water here last year, we had to take a drain from it. But you see the catchment area of the water over there? Underneath that uh, lot of water, there's these flat flagstones to keep the water clean. And then the water is drained under the walls there into a well just at the other side of the cooking pot there, the other side of the well, and then they've only that distance to transfer water from the well to the cooking pot then. So two and a half thousand years ago, they had running water in their houses. And you see an upright stone there with a hole in it. You see it better when you come in. Got a hole in the stone there to come. Yeah, that's the drainage system to take the dirty water away. So the clean water comes in here, and then dirty water out there. And that'll be double up as, uh, double as used as their toilet. Dad told a bunch of, he used to say it was the pet flap, for the cat flap. <laughs> and he got told off one day by a ten-year-old brownie. But she told them that the cats, it was the Romans that took the cats here, and the Romans were never this far north, so there was no cats here in the time for Bronze Age. So he had to change his story. Eighty-year-old getting tipped off by a ten-year-old. Hey, what else are we? Yeah, you see the double wall that's on it? The double wall around there? And for, a lot of it's broken down there, and it's where your feet is there, and there's another wall that used to be there. And uh, between the two walls, uh, it suggests that they could be just used as the pavement, but others think it's used for storing peat. In Stone Age time, you'd be told there was scrubby woodland here. You can imagine like, scrubby woodland uh, bushes in this valley here. And uh, that was what they were using for burning. But by the time these folk are here, the weather had changed drastically and it, it rained a lot. So the trees, the land became boggy, so the trees were uprooted. And uh, they turned, it all turned into peat. So that's what these folk are burning. But they had rainy weather, poor weather at the, this period, so they would struggle to get their peat dry. So they think they might have stored it between these walls. That would act as insulation. You imagine the heat <coughs> uh, that's in this cooking pot. Uh, when it's in use, the stone and the earth all around it would get warm. And it's got flagstones on the floor here. A lot of them have been broken with the hot stones on them, but they're all fitted together just like floor tiles. So they've got floor covering here. Dad's been trying to sell this house for years to the visitors because he reckons it's got all mod cons. You've got it running water, a cooking facilities, fire. Toilet, a running water in, drainage system out, underfloor heating, and lovely wall insulation. <laughs> Any takers for it? It's run into problems this last year's new with the credit crunch and the <laughs> mortgage <laughs> problems. Hey, we need a roof on it. Do you see that stone behind you there? Hey, that was Hello, old, uh, Maybe it was a swimming pool. Where have I? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Where have I? The old bog.
Maybe it's in high dive. Paddy.